You know Crimson Trace for lasers, but what you may not know is that Crimson Trace has a full line of optics. Gary, tell me about the, these red dots you have here. Yeah, absolutely, Ryan. So this is a CTS-1000. Okay. So a uh, compact red dot sight for rifles and carbines. Lightweight. And, and one of the things I noticed about all these when we were talking is the value that you guys have put in absolutely. this. Absolutely. Very, very competitively priced. Okay. And Crimson Trace quality. Now this one's a little bigger, more robust. Tell me about it. Yeah, so this is a this is the CTS-1100 battle sight, okay. uh, which is a 3.5 fixed mag, also 10 brightness settings. Okay, well. 10 brightness settings, and it is magnified. It is magnified. Three and a half power. Yep. Now, this you know has that traditional red dot look. Yep. Uh, a couple of different options here. How do people kind of choose? Sure. So this is a this is the CTS 1300. It's a compact, mm -hmm. uh, so it can be either run offset or as a primary sighting system sure. on, let's say, a shotgun, right. for example. Uh, CTS 1400. Uh, this one right here is a bigger window. Yeah. Uh, you know, bigger field of field of view. Also can be run as an offset or primary sighting system. Now, uh, mounting options, depending on what they're running yeah, on? Yeah, lots of mounting options available from Crimson Trace, uh, okay. both in, in package uh, or in the aftermarket. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Gary, I got an idea of a way to torture test this. Okay, let's hear it. You got a passport? I have a passport. Let's see how the doves feel about the CTS 1400. Uh, I like it. Argentina. Let's do it. Birds would fly over and they go, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, feathers everywhere. <laughs> Rain and feathers. You know, it is kind of unconventional to use a red dot down here. Oh, oh yes. But it's kind of fun. <laughs> oh. Gary, we've come down to Argentina because we want to do a torture test. Tell me about the optic we have on here. Yeah, you bet, Ryan. This is the CTS 1400. The 1400 has a bigger window? Big window. What's that for? Visibility. Visibility. Sheer visibility. Well, we need a lot of visibility because what does Argentina have? Muy doves. Lots of doves. See. Lots of doves. We thought, you know, we could torture test this shooting into a berm, but... It's not as fun. Not as fun. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to put this to the test. We're going to shoot hundreds and thousands of rounds. We're going to see how it holds up down here on a 12-gauge shotgun. You know, yeah, you could put a red dot on a shotgun, and this works great. It's kind of a testament to how tough it is. You can put it on 12-gauge. But for bird hunting, you're shooting moving targets, so your focus needs to be on the target, not as much on the dot. Now, for turkey hunting, Absolutely, you're aiming the shotgun. For self-defense, absolutely. This would make you very accurate, especially in those close quarter situations where you have to be very precise. This is a goofy test, but you know we want to have fun, and uh, you know it's a, it's a fun way to do it because we can shoot hundreds and thousands of rounds in just a few days. So Gary, what do you think? Number one, that, that was a blast, a <laughs> lot of fun. But I, I mean, the site worked great. It's, you know, it's unorthodox. We talked about this. Yeah, no, normally you wouldn't put a red dot on a shotgun to come to Argentina to shoot birds, but it's a much more fun way to test it out. Sure, sure. So that's what we do on Guns and Gear, having fun testing products. Check out these red dots from Crimson Trace. Yeah.